We're back for a new episode. Pokemon and Darwinism. Satoshi Tajiri, the creator of the game, Pokemon, was always interested in bikes. His friends called him Dr. Bug. He was referenced in the game as Dr. Chan. He was collecting them, and trees were cut down to kill them in Japan. He thought of Pokemon more like a zoo in your pocket, or Pokeballs as zoos to keep species alive. The idea of Pokeballs comes from Ultraman and his capsule monsters. Satoshi's fight is against urbanization. People stay inside the house and don't collect insects anymore. And he find it a bit depressing. Satoshi says, What's more important is that the monsters are controllable by the players. It could be the monster within yourself, representing fear or anger, for example. And they are put in capsules. Plus, everybody can give them their own names. Pikachu is like the name of the species. But each player can name their own Pikachu, so kids can relate to it more. They can get more attached to them that way. The Time magazine says, Did you name all those beetles and spiders and bugs? Satoshi says, No, I had a cat, though. I wanted to name the frogs, because I watched them grow. But there were too many. Ash is the representation of Satoshi when he was a kid. Eevee or Evole in French is the species of Pokémon that adapts with its environment. Eevee is the evolution of the same species into different species that are the same. The finches on the Galapagos Islands have different beaks to deal with different things. That's a bit like Evole. Mighty Carp is like a baby human. He's useless. But then he evolved into a Gyarados. And this Gyarados in French is Leviathan. As we know, Leviathan is a powerful creature. It represents power and adulthood. This is valid for every species, except the ones who need to run when they are born, like deer and gazelle, hoofed animals in general. Kittens, for example, are blind and can't run. Oh, look at this kitty. In Pokémon, evolution is something that makes the Pokémon stronger and also getting new abilities. Matchup, for example, is getting taller and stronger, we can see his muscles. And we have also other examples like Krabby, Kingler, Magikarp, Gyarados, Dragtini, Dragonite, Geodude, Graveler, and Golem, and lots of other examples. An elephant gets bigger, a bird knows how to fly when adult, a cat gets hairballs, and a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. The levels they get in the game influence whether or not they will evolve. It's like in real life. You get experience, you get better. Is a McDonald's advertisement in your table here? Not really, no. But you'll get experience too, and evolve like McDonald's. Hey, I said no. I wonder if I could evolve into a giant. Kids are watching, mind your P's and Q's. Once out of the Pokeball, they fight for their survival because the enemy is considered as being a threat, or because the other master tells the other Pokemon to attack the Pokemon even if he didn't want it to. Pokemons have no free will? This is like a slave combat. I am taking bets. You're wrong again, and no, gambling is not authorized here. Satoshi is not interested in violence in games. He does not want blood or anything, and compares it to karate. Hence why you put the enemies KO and you don't kill them like in Mortal Kombat. Meow is never in his Pokeball. Pikachu is in two. This makes Ash a progressive trainer, even if he didn't want it to, because Pikachu is a rebel. They still have Pokeballs, but they made a step forward towards Pokemon's freedom. Pikachu had developed a rebel. He hates Pokeballs and becomes angry when it comes to that. Hmm. You may not be wrong on this point. I think Pokemon is more than just simply a game about collecting creatures. It has a culture of the Japanese way of fighting with its honor and evolution is the core of the system. Remove the Pokeballs and the evolutions, and you just have three alien creatures wandering around. Pokemon is just a reflection of the world's mechanics of evolution applied to a game. 
Spire is a game that reproduces this system as well. Osmos is about the survival of a cell that eats smaller cells. The survival of the fittest. And to conclude, Satoshi Tajiri said it himself. He is a Darwinist. Is a McDonald's advertisement to top a professor? A professor. A professor. Strawberry. Strawberry.